Hey YouTubers, it's Mark, Truth Seeker, and I'm in Soul 837. And I came across something that's pretty, uh, that I think is interesting. Maybe you guys will think the same way. And, uh, you know, as always, you know, it's an official NASA picture right off their website. Uh, as always, I'll give you the link. You gotta go down below to the description. Um, it's right underneath, always in the description. So you'll come down underneath and uh, basically click on it and everything's there for you. You go right to the picture. All right, let's go into Photoshop and take a look at this. This is going to be a quick one. There's two or three anomalies in the picture. There's probably other stuff, but this is what uh, I find interesting. All right, this is what uh, caught my attention immediately. Now, so a lot of these rocks, you know, there's there's carvings, and you know, I mean, somehow water or something. You know, uh, sand, wind, you know, made, uh, like, you see this? Perfect, you know, as perfect as can be. Half circle. Who knows, it could go all the way down and be a circle, full circle. This could be buried. But uh, this is what really caught my attention. Now, look at the shape of this thing. This would be the top of the head. There would be an eye carved out nose look at this mouth area look at how it's worked and then look where the side of the head to give the head shape look at this and then look at this where the chin is it looks to be totally flat now was this part of maybe a bigger statue who knows you know We'll never be a hundred percent for sure, but uh, you got to admit this is very strange. Zoom in as much as I can for you guys. It's funny, right here, they put this box, see how it came in, and added this blur, right here. Back here looked to be something strange, but I just couldn't get much more out of it. And there was another, there's another rock that I'll show you. It, uh, to me, it looks like it has carvings in it. I mean, it's strange that nature could do this, but... circle with lines coming out of it and uh, there's another rock too that's got uh, some I it could possibly be carvings I'm not sure but uh, you can see that they came in and they how they blurred this out they blurred it out so much it almost blends with the background
something interesting. See how they cut this right off? And they came in and blurred this. And then this piece. Look at this how it comes out. It looks like it's a ball. And then another little piece comes out. Look at how it's it completely comes out. And it's suspended. See the shadow underneath it? See how this piece just comes out? And it, it looks circular, and then it looks like there's a little carving right in the center of it. See what I meant about this? How it looks. Okay, that could be an eye, an eye. This could be some type of headdress body comes down. See how they cut, cut off on the picture right here? You see the line? Then you come over here and you can see how this just comes out. It's suspended. And they really blurred it up pretty good. I really didn't do much to this photo. Hit auto, auto uh, color. And, uh, that was really it. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. And then finally, um, I found this just to be strange. Could be nothing. I mean, look at the diamond shape, and there's like a reflection coming off the top. Here, it almost looks circular. This is the piece that I really, I really liked. They came in and definitely manipulated this area. I mean, you can see the box where they blurred it. But look at how this comes out, the centerpiece, and then down on the bottom. Like, what in nature makes this? Or this diamond pattern? I mean, they definitely have the technology to make anything look like a rock. That's for sure. But, uh... To me, this rock was added here. Or to look like a rock. CGI. That's just my opinion. But, uh, that's interesting to me. This little piece here. This circle with the blur on the bottom. This diamond shaped piece. to the left of it, this piece here. It's got a little square that's coming up. A little square piece. Looks like there was something down here. I don't know if this is just weathered or NASA. Because you can see there's some color to this added. And there's a couple of blur boxes. There's strange structure. I mean, they definitely added some type of color to this area. Alright, guys. That's about it for this one. I want to wish everybody a happy holiday. And thanks for all your support. Uh, I mean, like I, like I always say. You guys are unbelievable to me. I really appreciate it. You know, even the people that don't, you know, see my point of view, don't agree with me on everything, I, I just totally, uh, I totally get it the way you res we respect each other. And, uh, you know, it's really nice, you know, 
I mean, yeah, once in a while, you you know, you get that idiot that comes on here, and uh, you know, you you just gotta ban him. But uh, I mean, like I said in my last video, I haven't had to ban somebody in a long time, and uh, I really appreciate you know people uh, taking the time to download the picture and look for yourself, and you're finding stuff, and you're getting excited, and that's what this is all about. We need to get people excited, and. Uh, People cannot be scared to talk about this stuff. That's the most important thing. You know, I mean, that's that's where the government, NASA, and JPL win. When everybody's scared to talk about this stuff. For fear of ridicule. You know. And, uh... You know, for me... Uh, I've been doing this for a while. A long time. And... I took that step to put my research and my thoughts out there, and uh, of course, you know, you have the fear of ridicule, and uh, but I did it, and I got a great response, and you know what, you never know until you talk to one of your friends, a co-worker, a neighbor, about this stuff, and show them a video or two, you never know how they're going to accept it, and that's the only way we're going to get this mainstream, we're only going to get families to talk about this with their kids, and so on, you know, and then hopefully someday, We'll have the right people in power, and, uh, you know, those are the people that are going to be able to maybe stand up for us. Unfortunately, I'll probably be dead by then, but, uh, and a lot of guys and girls that do this, but uh, maybe we can uh, initiate some type of change. Merry Christmas, guys. I'll see you on the next one.